Hi there, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can re-upload your ebook content to your seller product. Okay, now what you want to do is just simply re-upload your content to your existing product and not create a new product. To do this, you have to go to your menu icon top right, you click on it, and then you click on all products, and not add products, but all products. Once it loads up all of your products, you just simply want to scroll down and look for the content that you want to re-upload. So in this case, I'm going to look for my PDF ebook um, content or product. And then I'm going to click on this menu icon here to my right. And then you just simply click on edit. All right. So you click on edit. It will load up the editing panel. And then you can simply re-upload your content within this panel. All right. So to do this, all you have to do is just simply drag and drop your images, your product images. All right, so that your product has a display image. Okay, once you see that it has uploaded successfully, all right, you can just scroll down to upload your ebook content within this panel. All right, so within this space. So all you have to do that is you can just drag and drop your ebook content right here, or you simply tap on that space and it will load the files in your computer, all right, or in your phone, and you can just simply upload it. All right. Once it's done and you notice that the, the PDF file has been re-uploaded, okay, you want to make sure that the, the buyer access um, ticker is checked. And then once again, you just confirm that your image is uploaded successfully. Um, mine is still loading, so I'm just going to give it a little time there to complete as it's almost, you know, finished. Once this is done, all right, this is almost done. Once this is done, you just simply, you know, go right ahead to update your product. All right, so now my image has been uploaded successfully, all right, and my ebook has been re uploaded down here. I would then go ahead to tap on update product so that it updates my product, and then users or students who have bought my product or bought my ebook will be able to now have access to it within the same product, all right. So you do not want to create a new product because if you do that, it means that the students who bought this particular product would no longer have access to it completely except you onboard them all over again manually to the new product. So this is how you re-upload a product. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap this up by clicking on the update product button. So now I've clicked on it, I'm just going to give it a bit of a second and I'm going to see a success message saying, um, oh, hey, I have been able to successfully re-upload my content to my seller product all right so we're just going to give it a second while it loads up okay great so there you go so successful it's been successful congratulations your product has been updated and you can view it so if we go ahead to view our product now you would find that um it has been re-uploaded and students who purchased the ebook would now be able to have access to it. All right. So that is how you re-upload your ebook content within Seller. All right. So there you go. This is our re-uploaded product.